Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to patch a single select choice column in Power Apps. If you enjoy Teams, SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Automate videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So for my data source, I will be using a SharePoint list, the employee data, SharePoint list, and the marketing SharePoint. And the column I'm working with today is the favorite fruit column. So as you can see, if we go into the add column, if they type choice, I have a few selections here. And under more options, you can see that it does not allow multiple selections. I'll make another video for that, but we're only doing a single select choice column in this video. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's a complex like column and SharePoint. So you just can't do an equals. You have to do a few other things when you write the code. All right, so I'm in my Power App right now. I just have a gallery displaying the SharePoint list. And then I also added a combo box and a label. So for the combo box, I'm actually displaying that the employee's favorite fruit. So for the items, I'm doing choices, employee data, favorite fruit. So that is how you get their favorite fruit to appear in the combo box. On default, for the default selected items, so you want the default selected items to be this item dot favorite fruit or whatever your column name is and that will display the item so we want to set up a patch so if we update this from let's say banana for joe to orange we want this to save in sharepoint so i will actually use a button for this for the on select and i will just edit the dimensions real quick so for the x let's do cmb favorite fruit that's my combo box we'll get that x and then we want to add the width so it's at the end of the combo box and let's do plus 50 so it'll give a little space after the combo box and for the y we need to make this on the same y scale as the combo box so that will just be cmb fave fruit dot y so it's now level with the combo box. All right, for the text, we'll just do patch. All right, so we want to edit the on select property for this bun. So let's go into the on select. And right now it just says select parent. We will remove that and start typing patch. So to do the patch function for the update on the favorite fruit, it'll be patch. Uh, and then we need a data source. This is in the employee data list. And now I need to look up which value it's actually looking for in the list. So I'll do a lookup employee data. And I want to do a comparison here. So that will be, we'll do the comparison on the title. So let's be the title from the list. And then I want to do this item dot title. So it's going to look up the record in the SharePoint list that it should be a unique value too, by the way. So it'll look up, let's say Joe. And if Joe equals this item dot title, so it does, it's going to actually patch that specific row in the gallery. So let's continue on with the patch statement. Now we need brackets. I'm only going to patch one thing and that's going to be the favorite fruit. So favorite fruit does have a space in it. So I need to put it in single quotes. If your column name doesn't have a space, you don't need to put it in single quotes. So since this is a complex column in SharePoint, we have to add a few more curly brackets. So we'll put another curly bracket after the uh, colon. So for the first row in the favorite fruit colon curly bracket, you'll want to add the O data type and I will put this in the description below. You can just copy that row and you'll add it in. So this also needs an ID along with it. So ID will just be one because we're only going to grab one item from the lookup field. So that will be one. And then for the value, we want to grab the whatever is selected in the combo box. So that'll be your the name of your combo box dot selected since it's single item it'll be dot selected dot value and i'll grab the selected value so just to explain this again you got the patch function we're patching the employee data list we want to look up 
the row that we're working with. So in this case, we're working with Joe Smith and we're comparing this title. So that'd be his first name, Joe. We're comparing that to the title in the SharePoint row. So it's going to look through all these fields and it sees, okay, Joe equals this title, this item dot title. And then you want to close up that lookup, do curly brackets so we can patch some information. And you'll do favorite fruit, curly brackets again, since it takes in, it's like an array, it takes in multiple fields. So you want to include the O data type, and this is the O data type for a single choice column. Uh, the ID will be one, since we're only going to grab one item, since this will be a unique value. And the value we want to patch into the column would be whatever you selected. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and patch Joe's favorite fruit. So his favorite fruit was banana. We will go ahead and change this to watermelon and click on patch. Let me add a notify so we can warn the user that the patch actually patched. So we'll just say patched and we'll do success. All right, so now when I click on the patch function, you'll get this nice little notification to the user that says patch. So we'll go ahead and refresh our SharePoint list. As you can see, Joe got patched. His new favorite fruit is now watermelon. We'll go ahead and do Mark as well. So Mark's favorite fruit is cherry. We'll change this to apple. And now, as you can see, Mark now likes apples for his favorite fruit. So that it will be how you patch a, a single select choice field in Power Apps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave any questions in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next one.